Hi, my name is Mayor Barak and today we're going to learn on why you should e never ever have a hard stop in the system and I'm going to show you an example. And if you do like it, please don't forget to give me a like, it helps my channel and subscribe to my channel right over here. Take a look at Meta. Meta is up 2.2%. It's trending higher. I'm looking for a long opportunity. The market is moving higher, which is extremely important because that's where the market of the institutional traders are. So my plan is to buy it over 178.30. It's getting close. I'm planning a stop under the lows of approximately $1.50 stop loss. It's at my target now and I'm buying. I bought 2,000 shares. It looks well. It's moving up. My target should be approximately one and a half dollar. That means it needs to reach 179.80 something. And as you can see, it moves up very nicely right now. It's getting to the highs. Uh, not yet at my target. It just reached 179.63. You can see the high here on my platform and I'm looking for a new high because again it did not reach my target. I'm up approximately $2,000 right now and I'm looking for a new high. So once I'm going to get the new high, 179.80 something, I'm going to take my partial. Now not necessarily going to click the button the minute it touches it. I'm just waiting for it to touch it and then possibly moving higher. You always need to maximize. Okay, new high, 179.77. I'm up $2,300 and it did not move to a new high. It just bounces. Now, when a stock is breaking out and it reaches your target, you want to take your partial relatively quick. Now, as you can see, it just crashed down. Well, it's not really crashing down. It's moving down. It's what it does what we call a retest. It's retesting what was a resistance and now becomes a support. That's a normal procedure and normally you would add at a point like that. So when you have a retest and, it, and, and you see some kind of a proof that it wants to continue higher, just like now, I'm about to add 1,000 shares, small size, relatively small size, just added, I'm long 3,000 shares. So there's nothing wrong about this trade till now. The market is moving higher, Meta is moving higher. What's wrong about it that it's just stopped moving higher. So as you can see, is coming down. My stop loss should be under the lows. Never ever have a stop loss in the system. It comes down relatively fast. It's a kind of a fast forward of what happened there. These are one minute candle. But look at the candle that takes it under the lows. It's a big spike down and you never ever move out on spikes. You always wait for some kind of a pullback. So I know I should wait and take a look at the Nasdaq now. As you can see, it also pulled back from the highs. It's not trending low. It just pulled back. Take a look at the S&P 500. A small pullback from the highs. Again, it is trending higher. Once the S&P is trending higher, it's okay to pull back. Just that Meta took it a little bit too serious. So at that point, I know that I should be looking for some kind of reversal and have it now. So now, based on a a technical reversal I know where my stop should be now I'm still down as you can see here more than two thousand dollars I was down like six thousand but now it's moving up and the reason for that is because the S&P and the Nasdaq are moving up moving to five minute candles look at the Nasdaq here at the bottom you can see that after this small pullback it's just it is shooting higher now it's not that I'm happy with my meta trade it was the wrong choice it is kind of responding to the market right now. But the market, the S&P and Nasdaq move to a new high and Meta is still looking for direction. Now, that does not mean that I have to wait now for my target. I will not wait for my target. It is moving up and, you know, uh, it's moving up because the market is moving up. It's not moving up because it's a great looking stock. So it's getting to the point where I would like to divorce. It's up. I'm um, up. $1,400, $1,500 right now. At any sign of a pullback, I want to move out. So I'm selling everything right now. I'm out at a relatively small profit. My profit should have been much bigger than that. It should have been somewhere at the highs. But Meta did not behave. Now, I'll give you an example of stocks that did behave. Look at Baidu. I have 400 shares left from an earlier trade, but it's trending higher. Nothing wrong about that. It just kept moving higher. Meta did not. Take a look at the S&P 500. It's moving higher. It just looks amazing. It should get the medal of a technical uh, uptrend. Really, look at the S&P 500. There was no reason for Meta to come down. But it does not mean that you should have a hard stop under the lows expecting it to hit it and then move out. You should not. So you see, my Meta trade turned out to be a small green trade, $1,200. I have a big loser in Tesla and several other winners, actually a lot of other winners. And I'm going to finish this day up $4,600. What I would like you to remember from this video, except then just giving me a like as I requested earlier, please do that, and subscribing is the fact that you should not 
have a hard stop in the system and you never ever move out on spikes you have a hard stop you have a stop a planned stop that's okay but based on the market the market was moving higher there's no reason for you to exit the stock just spiked down wait until it calms down there's a big seller there fine wait until the big seller goes away and then have your stop at the point of reversal now how much money did you lose before this advice I know you're losing money having hard stops in the system I do support hard stops only when you are a novice trader if you are a novice trader and you're afraid and it, it kind of you know it, it, it's a big problem for you not to have hard stops in the system mentally then you you will have some problem with your trading so please use hard stops if you if you're a very novice trader but if you have an experience of several months stop using hard stop just reduce your size reduce your size to the point where you're not concerned anymore I hope this was helpful plenty of links right here below all of my picks were called live in my trading room a free 14 day trial is right here below no credit card is required join me join my traders I'll see you in the next video